Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Laravel 9, we will talk about slots and slots update in Laravel 9. See, slots are available in Laravel 8 also, but in Laravel 9, there are some minor updates in slots. So, I thought that I can make a complete detailed video on Laravel slots so that you can understand that what is slot, where we can use it, example, and we can also learn the update that is just came in Laravel 9. So let's start with the points of this video. First of all, see, we will learn what is slot because we must have to know why we, we will use it. After that, we have to uh, make a view and uh, we need a component also. After that, we will make an example of slot. I will tell you what are the updates in Laravel line uh, regarding slots. And uh, at last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. So first question, question is that what is slot? See, slots are basically used for send data from view to component and now you might have a question that what are the components in laravel so i will give you a brief example of a component also but if you want to learn in detail then link is given in the description box for complete detailed video on components right but uh, i will also tell you in that video that what are the component but that will be a brief description so now uh, okay so let's just recap it what are the slots and why we use it see when we want to send data from view to component that time we have to use slot now i will make a view and then i will just make component and give you an example so uh, i am uh, just uh, making a file inside views so let's say i am making the file with the name of home dot blade dot php and let me put here uh, html tag i don't need these extra meta tags so i can remove them them let me put here title which is home page and here i am giving a uh, one more h1 tag let's put here text which is uh, this is home page and now let's make a route for this so that we can just capture it on the browser so let's go to the web.php we can copy this uh, router code so that we can make it quickly home and replace this view from welcome to home now let's check it out in the browser this is our home page we need it i will tell you where we will need it this is the wel welcome page and this is the home page both page are visible perfectly fine there is no issue so now the point is what is the component so when we want to uh, show the same code in the different different pages that time we can make a you can say that uh, file that will be reusable for the uh, different different pages and that we call component how we can make it i am just going to show you so first of all we have to uh, make it with the command line so just put here php artisan make and let's say my component name is alert and let's hit enter okay i must have to mention that i am creating a component and uh, now this is created where this is actually created here you can see that in the view uh, we have another folder components and here we have a alert so what i can do here so let me just put here some span or something and i'm putting here span not spa uh, let's close this also and we can put here hi anil situ this is my name okay so I want to reuse this code on the home page as well as on the welcome page. So what I can do here, uh, here I can simply put here X alert, right? And we can close this tag here also like X alert. And now you will find that we can access this code on a home page also. Let's try it with the home page first.
we have to run our php server again so let's run it php server now we can see that this is working fine there is no issue uh, alert or this is our component component code is visible on the home page and same thing we can do with the welcome page also right now a uh, component is uh, you can say that used in welcome page as well as the home page so this is example of component now what is load so let's say you want to send some data from home page or from welcome page to component right so i want to uh, let's say on a home page i want to make here heading and i want to send this data to the welcome page because there is some specific colors or some style is uh, already made here right so that will be the slot and slot are also the two type one is the uh, unnamed slot and sec slot and another one is the named slot so first i am going you to show the example of unnamed slot so i am making here a b tag let me close it and i just want to put here this is subheading of home page subheading for home page right and i want to access it on the uh, blade.php which is our component so what we can simply do here we can just simply use curly braces let's say simply use here some span or p tag whatever you want to use again and here we can mention here dollar slot and now let's see what we are getting on home page and here we can see that this is our okay so let me just add here a br tag also so that we can add a line break right this is the subheading for home page and i want to add some style also with it so let's say i want to change the color style color is let's say red or something perfect so because the, why we are just want to send this data to the alert why we cannot show only the on the home page because uh, i want to make this style common and that's why i'm sending the same thing from the welcome page also so this is a subheading for welcome page and now you can see that on the both pages we have the red heading because we just add some style only on the uh, our component and that is the basically a example of slot but now we have a question let's say i want to show the two different color here right i want to show uh, the subheading also with and the text sum also and that color can be the um, let's say green or yellow or something how we can do that so that let's say i just want to send a paragraph from here and that will be the normal text and if i'm just sending it you will find that it will be uh, actually on the uh, red color i want to make it in the green color how i can do that for that we need a named slot so what are the named slots i will tell you but first of all how we can define the named slot named slots are those slots here we can define the name of that specific slots and they can be used more than one in a single file so let's say name dot slot and then name let's say this is the subheading right and that is the one slot x slot and with the same way i am defining the another slot and that name is a uh, title or some other whatever you want to just mention it right and now uh, on a alert we have again have to change we have to just put here dollar dot slot name which is subheading 
and another one is title and where we defined it in a home page this is the names right name of the slots and uh, now let's say color is green and again we can check it on the home page they are working perfectly fine if you want to add your line some line break then you can also do that right and uh, same thing let's say you want to do with the welcome page that that so that it could be a common uh, file example so we can put here welcome subheading for welcome page and text for welcome page this is fantastically working for the both file and this is the example of slot so now uh, what is the update actually see in laravel 8 we have to use the slots like a slot name like this name is subheading right and uh, let's say title for for title we have to define the uh, name like this title right still it will work fine if i just want to run at my welcome dot page again you will fi find that this is still working fine there is a no issue but they are suggesting that in laravel 9 that you have to use slotted name like this right and that is the actually a minor update all right so let's talk about interviews okay what issue we got that got here okay we don't need here these quotes actually okay so in interviews they can ask that what are the use of slot second question they can ask that uh, types of slots which is named and unnamed how we can use these slots can we make two slots in one component or, or not so these kind of questions can be asked in interviews and thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box thank you so much